Talk presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Florida has lined up for the kickoff, and we're ready to get this one underway. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 28-yard line. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. From their own 33-yard line, it's second down. Fires in a hurry. Interception. He's at the 40. He's taken down at the 39-yard line. Nice pick by the safety. Safety that time just sitting back there looking at the quarterback, and once it was thrown, he knew exactly where it was going, and he made the pick. First and 10. Ball on the 39-yard line. Caught with room to work. Good job by the offensive line to pick up the linebacker on the blitz. That gave the quarterback enough time to find his man for a nice game. From the 23-yard line, first down. knocked out immediately after the catch. That one's more than good enough for the first down. Well, Brad, that is a great play by the quarterback to find his target past the marker to keep this drive moving. Out of bounds, right around the 10-yard line. That makes it second and six. It's second down, six to go. Ball on the 10. Throws it out, and it falls incomplete. These guys just don't seem to be on the same page, and they're going to have to be if they expect to win this game. And down he goes at the 11, taking back a yard. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. This one should be makeable. Florida could take the lead with this field goal. He gets it up, and it is good. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Gators are right where they want to be early in this one, Parker. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. Their last drive ended with an interception. We're about to find out what the defense can do this time. He's got a lot of time to forget about that last pick. He's just got to stick to the game plan. Under heavy pressure. Once and all, going deep. Almost picked off. You like a team that's ready to defend the pass. It takes some preparation to get in the way of a pass like that. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. Black five, black five, green 15. They'll work the right side, and there's nothing going there.
Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. Let's see if the momentum from that defensive stand carries over to their offense. Thorson to punt. Oh, what a hit. So he got a little on that return. Well, Brad, early it looked like there was an opening there, but the seam closed quickly. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Florida holds a field goal lead. Up the middle for a nice game. A nice option play. The tailback gets six yards before he's brought down. They're about four yards away here on second down. Good outside run there. Good run by the quarterback. The thing that impresses me is the decision making. He sees an opening, decides to turn it upfield, and gets a nice gain in a first down. And they make the stop at the 28. I'll tell you something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. From the 28-yard line, first down. Quick throw, almost intercepted. him down for a loss. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 18. Straight up the middle, and he'll lose yardage. Florida is up a field goal. Kicks away, and he splits the uprights. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Florida's defense is playing lights out right now, pitching a shutout. Yeah, I would not be shocked at all to see this defense be able to maintain this. I, it just the way they're playing, the attitude that they seem to be playing with, if they can maintain the energy and the awareness of this offense, there's a very good shot that they can shut this offense out. He's tackled right around the 32-yard line. Fires out to his wideout. He ran a good-looking route and picked up positive yardage. That he did, and he made a good catch. That short passing game is where you see all those hours in the summer that you put in pay off. Red two. Hey, kill, kill, kill. Black five, five, five. Tackle right around the 40. From their own 40-yard line, it's first down. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. That makes it second and six. Slings it, and he is drilled at the 43-yard line. If you're the defense, who do you try to cover this guy with? He's too fast for most linebackers. He's too big for most corners. You have to rely on your safeties, who generally aren't very good in one-on-one -on -one coverage. First and 10, ball on the 43. Hey, 
Dumps it complete over the middle. And he's tackled at the 43. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Fires across the middle. And he's taken down around the 37-yard line. They're about four yards away here on third down. Tackled after a decent pickup. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Catches it, and that's all. Milton picks up about four yards with a catch. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 26-yard line. They'll bring him down at the 10. First down. Tenth play of the drive. And he throws it away. So it's second and ten. Ball on the ten yard line. Down of bounds at the four. How about that play? That's a good pickup there. He just dropped back and delivered a nice throw. And this is the 12th play of the drive. This defense not wanting to give an inch here. He's got the corner. Brought down right around the two-yard line. And they just stuffed that one. Hey, this is a great play here by the defense to bring him down before he can get to the sticks. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. the run they don't get it not sure about that play call as they fail on fourth down a good job on their last drive getting three let's see if they can get some more on this drive they're packed in tight on the line Run play and he'll lose yards. Second down. Got to be careful down here, deep in your own territory. Florida with a six point lead. Tackle made at the four yard line. They line up in the jumbo set. Fires incomplete. He was looking for the tight end. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Smith fields it to 46. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. 
The Gators really came prepared to play defense today, and the plan is working. Well, so far in this game, you've got to tip your cap to the defensive coordinator. He has clearly done a very good job of getting his team ready to play, and they have done a nice job of slowing down this very explosive offense. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Tries to get around the corner. He gets hit out of bounds at about the 27-yard line. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. Outside for a nice game. From the 21 yard line, first down. Nice run there as they work the outside. That brings them second and five. going to do it for the first quarter. We got a good one so far. 6-0 Gators. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. And let's see if the third time's a charm down here in the red zone. Makes it out to about the seventh. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Oh, and he had some steam on that throw. He's taken down at the two-yard line. They can't bring him down, and he's in. When you're that close to the end zone, it's always a smart play to find your blockers and follow them into the end zone. Here's the extra point that can give them the lead. And he hits the PAT. So that's a seven-play, 35-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running lines. Georgia is ready to kick it away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Every single time this offense has the ball, they're moving the football, but they're settling for field goals. And every time they settle for field goals, I've been watching the defense that they've been facing and watching how they run off the field to celebrate a job well done because they're not giving up touchdowns. That's a bad sign. Pass is caught, the defense lays him out. They'll get six yards. You get six yards, and that makes picking up a first down very reasonable. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. complete over the middle and he hits him hard at the 34 yard line Smith awaiting the return
And this one is a beauty. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Georgia is up one. He's to the 40. He's pushed out of bounds around the 43-yard line. From their own 43-yard line, first down. At the corner. And he shoved out of bounds at about the 41. run and he's brought down that makes it second and six from the 37 yard line it's second down they go to the left for a nice game that's a gain of four third down Five wide. And down he goes around the 30 yard line. That makes it first and ten. First down, ten to go. Ball on the 30 yard line. Throw in left. Got it, complete, and he's out of bounds. From the 15-yard line, it's first down. Georgia with a one-point lead. Fires in there, got it, touchdown. He makes the PAT. as his kick team lined up and he is set to kick this one off he kicks it off and he got all of that one this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback momentum swings have been fairly even and with so little separation this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays hands it to the back and they make the stop at the 36 First and ten. Ball on their own 36. Fires quickly to the tight end. He's tackled at about the 45. Makes the grab and out of bounds. From the 50, first down. He throws it away. That's a 
great tackle at the 47. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 40. And it's almost picked off. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Georgia is up by eight. Let's it fly. Makes the grab and steps out right away. So they're going to try to determine if the receiver had possession and was inbounds or not. Initially, it was called a catch, but now we're going to find out for sure if he at least had one foot in and possession of the ball before he went out of bounds. So after the review, the verdict is that it was no catch. They missed it on the field, but that was a bang-bang play. The important thing is they got the call right. Man, two, three, eight. He's got it with room to run. He's knocked out of bounds right around the 26-yard line. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Throws and it's incomplete. Thorson awaits the snap. So he managed to get a few yards on the run back. Yeah, but I'll tell you, Brad, with so much traffic in the middle there, it really makes it tough to break free. The momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. From their own 38-yard line, second down. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Big hit right there. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. They'll bring him down at the 27. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Georgia up by eight. Quick throw. And he's tackled at the 33-yard line. They're about four yards away here on second down. Nice run up the middle. Hey, Mike, 20, Mike. 
in the shotgun and five wideouts. And he throws right away. Incomplete. There's one the quarterback would like to rewind because he has a wide open receiver and he just misfires. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 38. Tackle around the 35-yard line. They come out in a five-wide set. He's wrapped up for the sack. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. He's taken down at the 44. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Slings it. Leaps. Picked off. It looked like the pass was sailing out of reach, but he just climbed the ladder and made a spectacular interception. From their own 27-yard line, first down. Georgia holds an eight-point advantage. Man open, incomplete. They'll spread the field with five wide. He's hit and taken down. From their own 37-yard line, it's first down. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. He gets rid of this one. Zips it to the back. Tackle made at the 40-yard line. That'll bring up third and eight. Check, check. Dancer, dancer. He's going to try and scramble. Brought down at the 35. It definitely put them in better field position. And I just have a feeling that they're going to punch it into the end zone on this drive. From the 35-yard line, first down. They'll bring him down at the 26-yard line. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. They come out on an empty backfield. Throws in a triple coverage, and it's intercepted. Big play there by the defense. That's their second pick of the half. Yeah, this offense has to stop making mistakes. These turnovers are putting pressure on their defense to make stops, and it's hard to win when you're always giving the ball away. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 23. He's taken down around the 25-yard line. That makes it second and eight. Well, we've played a half of football. Georgia's up by eight.
Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Keith Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Both passing games have struggled in the first half, David, and a lot of times you think of defensive backs being finesse-type athletes. A lot of physicality shown in that first half. No doubt about it. In, in defensive backs, the ones that we like the best are the ones that can play on an island and play extremely physical because most offenses are predicated around timing and rhythm, and you see quarterbacks all the time in seven-on-sevens and all summer getting with their wide receivers to try to get that perfect timing. And if you can jam them up at the line of scrimmage, you can mess up that timing. And doing a good job of that, playing close to the line of scrimmage, you know, not letting those receivers get too much wide open spaces and not giving away those easy completions. It's been a clinic so far in the first half. Just about time to start the second half. What, what do you think Herb Street's first point of analysis will be? Uh, I don't know, something to do with quarterback play, I'm sure. I mean, we got to hear that stuff all the time. It's all about the quarterbacks. Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Georgia's coaching staff will go out tonight. I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing, which has been so conservative, so predictable, it's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. Runs it right and can't get away. Nice tackle. Second and ten. Ball on their own 25. Fires to his receiver, first down. Run play and he'll lose yards. Just nowhere for the ball carrier to go as the linebacker met him in the backfield. Boy, what great play recognition by this linebacker. He saw the run was coming, and he just shot through the gap and made a great tackle. It's second and 11. Ball on the 37. He might not be able to get the pass off. And he's immediately tackled. complete and taken down immediately. It's second and six. Ball on the 47-yard line. Going to go across the middle. Caught. One yard line. First down. He's taken down at about the 33 yard line. So the halfback loses about two on the run. This is the eighth play of this drive. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Quick strike, and he drops it. Third down, and they need to get it to the 21. Big play, and it's first and goal. That 
This is the tenth play of this drive. rid of this one even though they didn't sack him the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass if you can get in there and disrupt the pocket then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers here's the 11th play of the drive and down he goes at the seventh the ball's on the six yard line and we've got third and goal His receiver dropped it incomplete. Kicks up, and it is good. Florida to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. And he tackles him hard at the 38-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. And they make the stop at the 38. it right and he can't get back to the line third and 13 ball on the 35 yard line he zips it out to the left and he's hit before he can go anywhere It's first and ten. Ball on the 48. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. That's a game of one on the play. That brings up second and nine. He makes his way out to about the 35. That makes it first and 10. From the 35 yard line, it's first down. Caught open field. Out of bounds at about the 23-yard line. Well, the quarterback's able to find a soft spot in the defense, and he threw an accurate ball for a solid pickup. And this play is number eight on the drive. Five wide. And he is drilled at the nine-yard line. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Fakes the handoff. Passes, and it's almost picked off. 
And this is the tenth play of the drive. He lets it go. Quick strike, and it's caught for the touchdown. And did that play ever develop nicely? Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect rep. All he had to do after that was make the catch. And it takes some real accuracy on those deep corner routes. So kudos to the quarterback. So they're going to try to determine if the receiver had possession and was inbounds or not. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. So they review it, but there's just not enough evidence to overturn this one. And he tacks on the extra point. Georgia is lining up to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Under pressure. They bring him down. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 23-yard line. Now he tries to buy some time, and he's going to be sacked. This one out to the left. This one is incomplete. And they're going to have to bring on the punt team. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. The punting team's got to give their kickers some time. Booming kick. He's at midfield. And he's taken down at the 50. Last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or will they start to lean a little bit more on their ground game. Got it and brought down immediately. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 46-yard line. Slings it. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. But he didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. Quick throw. And he's tackled around the 39-yard line. First and 10, ball on the 39. On the ground, left side. Nice run there. Milton picks up about four yards on the play. That makes it seven and six. Oh, and he had some steam on that throw. 
tackle at about the 25 yard line. That makes it first and ten. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 25. And he carries the ball for a nice game. It's caught first down and he's out of bounds. That makes it first and goal. Here's the eighth play of the series. Roger, Roger. Hey, Mike, 20, Mike, 20. Got a man. He can't complete the play. Second down and goal. Ball on the three-yard line. Quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Edwards gets a carry left side. Touchdown, Bulldogs. He makes the PAT. Georgia, the kick. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The offense will be hoping for a little more success than they had the last time out. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. Catches it, and he's immediately tackled behind the line. From their own 22-yard line, second down. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That's good for a game of yards. Third down. Larry, Larry, Larry. My 10. My 10, my 10. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Throws complete and he stopped immediately. That's three down and one to go. The Bulldogs in front by 19. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Taken down in the backfield. Unable to pick up the first down, and the ball will change hands. The offense tried to run right by him with the counter play, but the defense was there to make the stop. Great hold, guys. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Passes to the wide out, and he can't pull it in. From the 31 yard line. Second down. Tackled after a decent pickup. Call it a gain of four yards. That'll bring up 36. The 
This one's going deep to the end zone. No, incomplete. Man, this is tough going for this quarterback. Next time out, he needs to just relax. Think back to all those practices and not worry about what's happened in this game up to now. He gets it up, and he got it. That one looked like cake for this kid. Chalk up three points for the offense. 31-9, Georgia. Thorson ready to kick. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Georgia's defense has just been awesome here in the fourth quarter. And the thing that's really stood out to me, Brad, is that when they've needed the stops, they've gotten them and gotten the football back to their own offense to put points up. The defense was able to stop this offense short on fourth down last time. Let's see what they do this opportunity. Nothing can impact an offense more negatively than being stopped on his And the safety with the interception. He's tackled right around the 20. So the turnover will once again give the ball back to this offense. That's two interceptions today by this defense. Their coach has to be happy that they're forcing turnovers. From the 20-yard line, first down. Tackle made at about the 17-yard line. After positive yardage. Good for a gain of six yards. That'll make it third and one. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. And he just gets rid of it. The kick is up, and he got it. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I don't expect any once-in-a-lifetime rallies here, but that being said, we could still see some exciting plays. Bring him down right around the 38-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 38. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. I'm not sure the quarterback saw him when he was getting ready to pass because he stuck his paw right in the passing lane. Throws a strike over the middle. And down he goes at the 49-yard line. From their own 49-yard line. First down. On the throw, incomplete pass. the 30-yard line. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. First and 10. Ball on the 30-yard line.
He throws it. That makes it second and ten. He's taken down around the 12 yard line. From the 12 yard line, it's first down. Nice run up the middle. This is the ninth play of this drive. Here comes the pressure. Finds a man. Touchdown. That was a well-drawn-up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. And the secondary didn't quite seem alert enough to defend that pass. And he hits the PAT. bring him down at the 41. You know, they practiced all week this week, and they told us yesterday, Brad, that they felt pretty good about what they put in, the plan that they had. And I think now that you see them playing today, it's no wonder they felt so good. Well, the last drive was good for three, but I'm sure in this one they'll be looking to double that. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. And he might want it all here and does. Almost picked off. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. Lovett takes it left. And they push him out at the 30. And they make the stop around the 32-yard line. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on the 32-yard line. Here's the give. He takes it right side for a good game. That's a game of four. That'll bring up third and eight. but he's tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. They're going to try a long field goal here. The kick is up. It's got the distance. And he nails the long field goal. Dorson is lined up to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. 
The offense now will take the field, and they hope to have the same success they had on their last drive. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. He ran a good route there and was able to pick up yards underneath the coverage. It's okay to move the ball in small portions because it relaxes the offense and can open things up for the big play. They're about four yards away here on second down. It's a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. He's going to go for the home run. Oh, he had the pick, and he dropped it. Boy, this is a great play by the safety to be able to be in a position to make this play, but he's got to be able to hold on to the football. You know, he's a big, physical, athletic guy, but you've got to be able to secure a football and make a big play when it presents itself. Looks middle, got his back, and he's taken down at the 33. So the offense will come out onto the field to take over once again. They got three points on their last drive, but with this kind of field position, they should be looking to get the ball into the end zone. Steps out of bounds at the 28-yard line. It's second down, five to go. Ball on the 28. after a decent run up the gut. They'll get him for a loss. The option can be really tough to defend. At that time, it was well played by the defense. It's fourth down. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. Less than three minutes in the game. Kick is away. It's long enough. And he splits the uprights. Yeah, he got some good leg behind it, and he kicked an accurate ball right between the goalposts. The score now, Georgia 40, Florida 16. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. At the 30. And down he goes at the 41-yard line. And the defense stopped them cold on fourth down during their last drive. Well, this offense is going to have to do a better job on this drive. Remember the last time, they went for it on fourth down and came up short. Now they get the football back. Let's see how they can do. Tackle at the 48-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 48. This just shows you that you don't need to be sacking the quarterback to disrupt the passing game. Under heavy pressure. He goes up, picked off. Yeah. 
the pressure definitely got to the quarterback there because that pass was not on target. The defense was just sitting on that. They were in zone coverage. As soon as they saw he was in trouble, they were all over the football. From their own 10-yard line, first down. Just under two to go in the game. And he's tackled right around the 18-yard line. He makes it to the 18-yard line. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. He's into the open field. Gets out to around the 28. This one's all but wrapped up with the final score, Georgia 40, Florida 16. As we finish up the broadcast, what do you have to say about how this game turned out, Kirk? They've talked about the rivalry all week long, and for good reason. We saw the intensity down on the field every play, and it showed us why these teams love to hate each other. It'll be interesting to see how this game carries over the next time they play. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.